As NASA continues its exploration of deep space, it must find alternative power sources when sunlight is not available. NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate is investigating the use of fission power as an alternate way to sustain its presence in the dark. Places such as the dark and dusty surface of Mars, the perpetual darkness of deeply shadowed craters, caves, and other sunless places in our solar system. The Moon's Shackleton Crater, for example, hasn't seen sunlight since it was created more than a billion years ago. Until now, NASA missions to these locations have sparingly used very low power from available sunlight. Or, more often, they converted the decay heat from plutonium-238 to electricity to obtain a few hundred watts, less power than a microwave oven. NASA is exploring the idea of using fission power systems for future long-term human and robotic exploration. By developing and demonstrating fission power systems technologies now, NASA keeps the option for fission power open for these future human and robotic exploration needs, which fall into two categories, defined by power level, kilopower, and technology demonstration unit, or TDU for short. Kilopower addresses the need for planetary surface power and spacecraft power from 1 to 10 kilowatts. The TDU would provide explorers with tens to hundreds of watts of power for spacecrafts and surface exploration. These two nuclear systems projects, the TDU and Kilopower, will pave the way to a future where our explorers, human and robotic, can have all the power they need anywhere in the solar system we wish to explore.